Hey guys, sorry I forgot the drone. This is a one hour Hatha yoga class for our Patreons. We just hit another 50 uh, people. Yeah, thank you so much, Patreon community. We're gonna do a one hour Hatha flow like Duke said. So Hatha is just like the umbrella of yoga. Any kind of yoga that has postures in it. So here we go. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hey guys, welcome. And I'm Leslie Fightmaster. This is Fightmaster Yoga. And this class is again brought to you by our Patreon community. We would love for you to join. Let's begin sitting up nice and tall for our Hatha Yoga class today. Grounding down through your sitting bones. You might notice I'm sitting up on a little blanket. You could do the same to get your hips a little bit higher than the knees. Let's bring our hands together in front of the heart. May our practice help us to become stronger and more flexible in our bodies and in our minds, both on and off of our mats. And please add your own. Next inhale, sweep the arms out, around and up, palms facing each other. Exhale, right hand down, left hand to right knee and twist. As you inhale, sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, maybe twist a little bit deeper. Noticing that the twist happens above the waist with the sitting bones nice and even. Come back to center, look up, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, right hand to left knee, left hand behind. Lengthen as you inhale and twist as you exhale. Rolling the left shoulder back, keep the collarbones nice and wide and the chest lifted. And then back to center, bring your fingertips in front of you, lengthen the spine, inhale as you exhale, walk yourself forward any amount, stretching out the hips a little bit. Try and keep your spine long instead of allowing it to round, leading with the chest instead. Another breath here, and then head up, inhale, walk yourself up, and switch the cross so the other shin's in front. Now bring your arms right out in front of you, and interlace your fingers as you exhale, palms face out, inhale, arms up by ears. Try and spin the triceps forward, exhale, turn to your right. Keep the ribs drawing in. As you inhale, lengthen through the back body, exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper. And inhale back to center, exhale, release the arms, and inhale again, bring them in front, put the other pinky on the bottom, exhale, palms face out, inhale, arms up by ears, exhale, turn to the left. Try and spin triceps forward and relax around the neck so the trapezius muscles don't bunch up and cause tension. Notice again how the twist is happening above the waist and now you're just using your muscles to make it happen. Come to center, fingertips in front. Exhale, walk yourself forward any amount. Stretching out the spine again. Draw the shoulder blades gently towards your waist and breathe. Nice, long, smooth breaths in and out through the nose unless the nose is congested. Come on up. And make your way onto hands and knees. If you've got a blanket there, put it off to the side. Line up wrists under shoulders with knees under hips. Have a couple blocks available to you for this practice today and maybe a strap if you've got one. As you inhale, extend your right leg back, lift it from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down. Now lift left arm forward and balance. Pull the ribs and belly in and up. Keep reaching through the arm and the leg and continue to pull the ribs and belly in so the back doesn't overarch. Now take it back down, back to table, to the other leg. So inhale the left leg up, right arm forward, stretch through the arm and leg. Make sure the outer left hip drops down and you're lifting that leg from the inner thigh. That way the hips stay level. Take another breath here and set it down. And we'll go back to the first side. So right leg back, lifting from the inner thigh and drop the outer hip, left arm forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw the knee and elbow right down the center, pull the belly in and up. Inhale, stretch it out, drop the outer hip. Exhale like you're moving through water, make some resistance, draw it to center. Inhale, reach out. And exhale, again, pull it in. Inhale, slowly reach out. 
Keep the leg up, but take the left hand down. Now bring the right ankle in towards center and stack your hips, stretching the right arm up. And maybe you'll reach back for the foot and stretch it back. Just an option. If it doesn't work to reach the foot, then just keep the foot extended. Make your way back to center, back to table, and release. Now left leg back, lifting it from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down, right arm forward, stretch out, inhale. Exhale, knee and elbow towards center. Inhale, reach out, drop the outer left hip. Exhale, slowly bring it in like you're moving through water. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it down the center. Inhale, reach out. Now take the right foot in toward the center of the mat, right hand down, and stack the left hip over the right. Then maybe reach for the left foot, drawing the foot back, but keep the belly lifted. That'll help protect your lower back. And then slowly make your way back into table position. Then turn your inner elbows forward, walk your hands about a handprint forward, tuck your toes under for downward facing dog, arms, shoulder distance, feet, hips width, and keep turning the outer upper arms, the triceps back toward your feet, biceps, inner upper arms forward toward the hands. Press a little extra into the thumb and first finger side of the hands, stretch back, nice and long through the spine, the heels are reaching toward the floor, pull the ribs and belly in, arms and ears in line with each other. Pressing the weight up to the hips, reaching it down toward the heels. Take another long breath here. Just stretching back in your first down dog today. And then look forward, walk your feet to the hands, then inhale, hands to shins, halfway up. And exhale, fold, bend the knees as needed. Press down through the feet, rise up, inhale, looking up. And exhale, bring the hands down. Let's find Tadasana at the front of the mat, feet parallel together or hip socket distance apart. Pull the belly in, firm the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold over the legs. Then inhale, come halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, step to plank. Knees can be up or down, lower all the way down to your belly. Hands by low ribs. Inhale, little cobra, peel the chest up. Press all 10 toenails down into the mat. Then exhale, press to the knees up and back or straight up and back into downward facing dog. Again, pressing the weight up toward the hips, reach it down toward the heels. Arms, shoulders distance apart and feet hips width. Gaze between your knees or your feet and breathe here. Look forward past the fingers, step or hop up. Inhale, lengthen and exhale to fold. Press through the feet, rise up as you inhale and exhale to Samasthiti. Same thing, Syria A. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, folding forward, hinge from your hips. On the inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank. Knees can be up or down, lower chaturanga. Then inhale, up dog or cobra. Up dog, thighs and knees are off the floor. Exhale to down dog. Stretch back here, breathing. So there is always the option to step or hop forward or step or hop back. I'm stepping today because the table that I'm on is super wobbly and you'll see that shortly. <laughs> Take just another breath in. As you exhale everything out, begin to bend the knees, look up past the fingers, lightly step or hop up, then inhale, halfway lift, and exhale to fold. Rooting through the feet, rise up, inhale, look up, lengthen up, and exhale, samasthiti. Again, inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, fold over the legs, uttanasana. Inhale to Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Exhale, step to plank, or if you hop, you'll hop back, landing in Chaturanga. Shoulders no lower than elbows as you lower down. Then inhale, up dog or cobra, it's always your choice. And exhale back into downward facing dog. Always take care of your body. If you need to modify, then take the knees down, take cobra. If you need to rest, push the pause button and take a child's pose. Have another long breath in and then inhale the right leg back and up from the inner thigh. As you exhale, bring it forward down the center. 
Inhale, step it up by the right hand. Take the left knee down to the floor. Keep the back toes tucking under. Reach up, draw the right hip back. Lift hip bones toward lower ribs. If it's comfortable for you, you can take the palms together to touch as you look up. Otherwise, keep the arms shoulders distance apart, but spin triceps forward. Continue lengthening your sitting bones down. Exhale, swing the arms down, step to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhale, shoulders over wrists and up dog. Exhale, use the belly muscles, transition down dog. Left leg up, inhale, lift it from the inner thigh. As you exhale, pause a moment, shoulders over wrists, holding the knee, and then lightly step it up by the left thumb, right knee down. Please pat up your knee if it needs any padding. Come on up, arms, elbows straight. Pull the left hip back, spin triceps forward. And maybe your palms will touch as you look up. Let your shoulder blades release toward the waist so there isn't any tension. Only look up if there's no tension on the neck. Release the hands down. Step back to plank and lower chaturanga. Then inhale, pressing up. And tuck the toes. Exhale, lift the hips for downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Stretching back here. Come back to steady inhales and exhales. So the inhale and exhale are equal in length. And then looking forward, just past the fingers. Bend the knees, keep the hips nice and high, lightly step or hop up, then inhale, lengthen. And exhale to fold. Press through the feet, rise up, bend the knees this time for chair pose, Utkatasana, and then to stand, Samastitihi. As you inhale, return to chair pose, weight into the heels, exhale, belly to thighs, and then straighten the knees as much as you can. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step into plank and chaturanga. Inhale, pressing into hands and feet. Exhale, make your way into downward facing dog. On your inhale, right leg lifts back and up. This time, let's bend the knee and open up the hip. Try to press evenly through arms and shoulders. Reach the left heel down toward the floor. And then square off the hips. And then exhale, bring the knee down the center. Take a breath in and exhale. Step it up by the right hand again, left knee down. Grab a block, left hand on the block, right arm up. If you don't have a block, you could always keep your hand on the floor or you can take your left hand onto your right knee. But pull your right hip back and try and keep your hips level. Either stay with that or pick up the back knee. Going in a little bit deeper, continue to pull the right hip back, lift the left hip away from the floor. Take another breath here. And then exhale, sweep the arm down, bring it to the mat, make your way to downward dog. You can go through vinyasa as I am, inhaling up, exhaling back, or just go right into down dog. Please feel free to skip any vinyasas. Inhale, the left leg back and up from the inner thigh. Exhale, bend the knee, stretch it open. Again, press evenly through the arms and the shoulders, right heels reaching toward the floor. And then square off the hips, inhale, exhale, bring it right down the center, shoulders above the wrist, pressing away from the floor, using the belly muscles to hold, and then step it up by the left hand. Take the block on the right side of the foot, keep the back toes tucked under. Inhale, stretch left arm up. As you stretch up through the left arm, pull the left hip back and try to lift your right hip away from the floor. So again, we're gonna twist from above the waist like we did when we were sitting. You can stay with this or lift the back knee up, but again, pull left hip back, lift the right hip away from the floor. Make sure the left knee stays over the ankle. Wanna keep that left knee nice and safe. Take another breath, then exhale. Just take your time, slowly taking the hand back down. Come to plank or go right into down dog. Exhale, chaturanga or not. Inhaling up dog or cobra. And back into downward facing dog, stretching back. Always returning to your breath. Take a break when you need it. 
Then come to plank as you inhale. You're going to step the feet together. Roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Lift the left arm up. Bring the left hip forward. You can take your right knee down for more support. And I almost lost it there because of the wobbly table. Well, that's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> Bring yourself back to plank, either right into down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling up, exhaling back. And then make your way back into plank pose, feet together, rolling to the left side. Reach the right arm up. Bring your right hip a little bit forward. You can always take left knee down for more support. Keep lifting the belly, reaching sitting bones toward heels. And then take the arm back down, come to plank, either right into down dog or lower chaturanga, then inhaling up. And exhaling, downward facing dog again. Come back to your steady breathing so that your inhales and your exhales are equal in length. Take a moment to come back to the intention that you set for your practice. Look forward, lightly step or hop up, inhale, lengthen, and exhale to fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale for chair pose. Katasana. Wait into the heels, then exhale. Bring your right arm back, but keep your right hip moving forward so hips are level. Inhale, center. Exhale the left arm back. Keep the left hip moving forward. Come back to center, sit back, and then fold forward as you exhale. Take your feet hips width apart and hold on to your opposite elbows and just hang. Gently rocking side to side if you like. Knees can be bent like mine are a little bit or if they're straight, let them firm up. Then let your head hang down, arms hang down, lightly nod your head yes. Take hands to hips, inhale, come on up and turn to the long side of the mat. Step your feet out nice and wide for triangle pose. I'm going to use a block. Grab a block if you have it. Turn your right leg all the way out. Your back toes in slightly. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, hinge from your hip. Reach out and then down. Bring the right hand to the block or your shin or the floor. And then stretch up through the left arm. Press firmly into the big toe mound of the right foot. Exhale, bring your left arm forward in line with your ear. Inhale. Bring it back to the hip. Exhale, bring it all the way forward in line with the ear. Inhale, bring it back to the hip. Exhale, take it all the way forward. Nice long breath, inhale, bring it back to the hip. And then hand on the hip, look down, pick up your block, take it about 12 inches in front of you, float the back leg up and add your top arm. Half moon pose. Heel and hip about in the same line. And we're going to slowly transition in a moment back to triangle pose. So slowly bend that front knee, slide the block back, landing right in Trikonasana. Stretch up through the arm. And then looking down, inhale, come on up, bring the block with you. Take your feet to parallel, then turn left leg all the way out, back toes in. Make sure you're lined up heel to arch with the feet. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hip. Get really long as you bring yourself down to that block or the shin. Stretch up through the right arm. Shoulders in line. Press firmly into the big toe mound of the left foot, making sure your left leg is firm. Reach right arm in line with ear. And exhale, bring it back toward the hip. A little longer inhale as you bring the arm forward in line with the ear. And then exhale, take it all the way back to the hip. And take the longest breath as you inhale, 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 inhale forward with the arm. Then exhale, 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 take it back to the hip. Take the arm up, inhale, and then hand to hip, look down, bend the knee. Take the block about 12 inches in front. Make sure it's on the pinky toe side of the foot as you float the back leg up. And stretch up through the arm. Make sure your toes didn't turn in on the standing leg and heel and hip about in the same line. Look up toward the top hand if you, your balance is good and your neck's okay with it. 
And then slowly begin to bend the knee. Remember, we're gonna land right in triangle pose. So slide the block back, straighten the leg, look up. Unless it bothers your neck, and then look down and inhale all the way back up. Put your block off to the side and bring your feet to parallel. Toes point in slightly, hands to hips. Look up on your inhale. Hinge from the hips, exhale, fingertips down. Now pull the chest forward as you lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. Prasrita Padottanasana A. Pull up on the kneecaps from your quadricep muscles. Squeeze outer hips, inner thighs toward one another. And then shift the weight toward the balls of your feet. Gentle gaze off the tip of the nose. And one more breath. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bring hands to hips. Inhale, come up with a nice long spine. Now turn your toes out and your heels in and start to bend your knees. As you bend your knees, keep your knees in line with your middle toes. Drop your tailbone down. Take arms to a T and then right arm on top or left arm on top of right. Lift the chest, draw shoulder blades down doesn't really matter which arm is on top just one of the arms just remember so you can do the other arm in a moment continue to drop your tailbone down press your knees back lift your hip bones up toward the lower ribs take the arms out to a T and put the right over left or the other arm on top then lift the chest gently lift the elbows and then check in with the legs again drop your tailbone down lift your hip points up as your knees press back keep them in line with your middle toes One more breath, and then arms straight up. Now lift your right heel up and set it down. Left heel up and down. Inhale, right heel up, exhale, release it. Inhale, left heel up, exhale, release it down. Now both heels up. Balance, balance, slowly straighten the knees and heels down. Take your feet to parallel, step or hop them together and turn back to the front of your mat. Back to Tadasana. Take a moment to find your steady balance in mountain pose. Just noticing the shift in energy from the poses we've done so far. Now we're going to balance, taking the right leg up to the left inner thigh or take it below the knee. Inhale, reach arms up, spin triceps forward, tree pose. Keep a steady gaze something that's not moving so that right foot can be anywhere above or below the left knee Try and drop the hip down point the knee forward extend the leg continue to drop the right hip down pin the left hip in and then without touching the foot to the floor we're going to swing it back start to lift it from the inner thigh drop the outer hip down just like we did when we were on hands and knees in the beginning so hips are nice and level. Slowly make your way back to center. And release it. Ground down through the right leg now. Take the left foot up into tree. Take it anywhere above or below your knee. Drop your left hip down. Inhale. Sweep the arms up and pin the right hip in towards center. Keep a steady gazing point to help with your balance. Keep inhales and exhales equal in length. And now point the knee forward, extend the leg, hold it up as high as you can, but continue to drop the left hip down, pinning the right hip in. And remember, without touching it to the floor, we're going to swing it back, start to lift the leg from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down. And then come on back to center and release. Shoo, that was tough with a wobbly table. <laughs> Inhale, bend the knees, come to chair pose. Exhale, belly to thighs, and then fold. Inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale, step or float back and find chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up through the hands and feet or stick with cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes for down dog. As you inhale, we'll lift the right leg 
Yep, there it goes. Back and up. Lift it from the inner thigh. Exhale. Bring it forward. Shoulders over wrists. Take an inhale. As you exhale, take it over to your right tricep. Nice and high. Inhale, center. Exhale, left tricep. Nice and high. As high as you can. Inhale, center. Exhale, step it up. Stay on the ball of the back foot for high lunge crescent. So come up, bend the back knee, tilt your pelvis forward, pull your belly in, straighten the back leg as much as you can. Continue to pull the right hip back. Then bring hands to heart, lean forward, hook your left arm across for prayer twist. Keep pulling the right hip back. An option to take the left hand down to the pinky toe side of the right foot and right arm up. Try to lift your left hip away from the floor. Keep lifting the back inner thigh up. Take one more breath here. Keep the belly pulled in as you're breathing. And then as you take your next inhale, start to squeeze your outer hips and your inner thighs. So you can come back into high lunge, back to crescent. Now walk your back foot in about half a foot or so. And take a block to the little toe side of your right foot. Left arm up, inhale. Exhale, reach it forward. If it doesn't reach to the block, take it on the big toe side of the foot. Pull right hip back, reach right arm up. As you inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, remember twisting from above the waist. The right hip pulls back. Hips are nice and level. Pavrita Trikonasana, twisted triangle pose. Looking down, I'm going to pick up the block. Now take it over toward the left side as you lift your left leg up. Lift it from the inner thigh just like we did before. And then right arm up again. This is twisted half moon power to Ardha Chandrasana. Not an easy one, is it? <laughs> Don't worry if you fall out of it. Just come back into it. And then just step your feet together. Take an inhale. Come halfway up. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold over the legs, then look up again. Step or float back, finding Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift up and back for down dog. We'll do the other side. As you take your next inhale, we'll lift the back leg up from the inner thigh. And then exhale, bring it forward so shoulders are over wrists and hold. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring it to the left tricep nice and high. Inhale center. Exhale across to the right tricep high as you can. Inhale center. Exhale lightly step it up by the left thumb staying on the ball of your back foot. Come back into high lunge. Make sure the left knee's over the ankle. Bend the back knee so you can tilt your pelvis forward. Pull your belly in. Pull the left hip back and then straighten that back leg. Hands to heart center. Lean forward. Get some length and then hook your right arm across. As you inhale, Open the chest, widen the collarbones. You can stay or right hand down to the little toe side of the foot, left arm up. Continue to pull the left hip back and lift your right hip up away from the floor. Breathing here, nice long breaths. And then squeeze out her hips and her thighs. Come back into high lunge. Walk your back foot in about half a foot or so. Take it flat, line up heel to heel. Inhale, right arm up. Get the block by the little toe side of the left foot. Take the right hand to the block. Pull left hip back as you lengthen. And exhale, twist. So if it's hard to reach the block on the little toe side of the foot, move it to the big toe side of the foot. You can have the block up as high as you need it. Stretch up through the top arm and continue to keep the hips level, taking the twist from above the waist. Then take that hand to your hip, bring the block over on the right side of the mat as you lift your right leg from the inner thigh. Then turn in the same direction toward the left. As you're turning though, drop the outer right hip down so that your hips stay level. The toes should point straight down to the floor. Take one more breath here, nice big breath. Then look back to the floor, step the feet together. Nice work, look up, lengthen, inhale. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, look up halfway. Take your feet hips width. Take your big toes with your first two fingers. Wrap them around with a nice long spine. And then exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees as needed. If the legs are straight, though, be sure to shift the weight toward the balls of your feet. Crown of the head is reaching toward the floor. Draw shoulders away from the ears. Nice, steady breathing. This is called 
Padangustasana, then come halfway up, inhale. Exhale for Padahastasana. We're gonna step the feet on the hands where the Padas on the Hastas. Look up, inhale, and fold as you exhale. Same thing, if your legs are straight, then shift the weight toward the balls of your feet. Just imagine that you're reaching the crown of the head toward the floor instead of thinking that you're supposed to round your back. And look up halfway. Exhale. Bring hands to hips. Inhale. Come all the way back up. Back to Tadasana at the front of the mats. Inhale. Sweep the arms up. Look up. Lengthen. Exhale. Hinge from the hips and fold forward. As you inhale, lengthen. Look up. Keep the gaze forward as you step or float back, finding Chaturanga. Then inhale, pressing up through the hands and feet. Exhale, lift the hips for downward dog. On your inhale, lift your right leg back and up again from the inner thigh. Exhale, bring it forward. And then over to the right tricep and then over to the left tricep. And then to center, to the right tricep. Once more to the left tricep, then to center. Step it all the way up by the thumb. Staying on the ball of the back foot again, we'll come to high lunge. Reach all the way up and the back knee. Lengthen through the sitting bones. Stretch up through the arms. Pull the right hip back, keeping the right knee over the ankle. Then lean forward. We're going to step up onto the right foot. Lift the left leg from the inner thigh for warrior three. You can keep arms in line with ears or swim the arms back alongside your body. But lift the shoulder head so that your chest stays lifted. Then slowly set yourself back into crescent pose. Arrow straight arms. Pull the ribs and belly in. Exhale. Bring the hands down. We're going to step the right foot on top of the left foot for side plank. Stretch up through the top arm. Bring the top hip a little bit forward. And then to plank, you can go right into down dog or exhale chaturanga. Then inhale to press up. Exhale, stretch back. Here we go, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring it forward, hold it up, shoulders over wrists. Take it over to the left tricep and to the right, exhale. Inhale to the left tricep. Exhale back to the right tricep. Inhale, bring it to center, step it up by the left hand, stand the ball of your back foot, come back into your high lunge. Bend the back knee, lengthen through the lower back as you stretch up through arrow straight arms. Pull left hip back, ribs and belly drawing in, spin triceps forward. Keep the arms and ears in line, lean forward, start to step up onto that left foot, lift the right leg from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down, arms can stay by ears or swim them back, but lift the shoulder heads, especially if you're bringing the arms back so your chest stays lifted. Slowly, slowly back into high lunge, make sure the knee's still over the ankle. And then take the hands down, you're going to step left foot back on top of the right foot into side plank vasistasana. Bring the top hip a little bit forward, balance, lengthening sitting bones toward heels, then back to plank, either right into down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling up dog, exhaling back into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Nice work. Come to back to your steady breath. Feel free to take a break. Hit the pause button if you like. You can always take your child's pose anytime. Otherwise, right leg comes up again. Exhale, pigeon pose. So you can stay in pigeon or if it bothers your knee, roll onto your back instead and do thread the needle with your right ankle. Just past your left knee. Make sure the right ankle stays flexed. If you're in pigeon, be sure the back toes are pointed straight back and your hips are level. If you're rolling onto your right hip, then lift it up with a blanket or a block. You can stay up or exhale to the forearms or lying all the way flat down. And we're just going to breathe here, letting those hips release a little bit. I don't know about you, but I thought that was some good work in this part of the class. We're not done yet, but we're going to get a little bit, um, a little quieter now for a moment or two. So come back to your steady breathing and imagine that you're breathing right into that right 
hip. Releasing any tension. And then check in with the shoulders and the jaw. Release any tension there as well. Every exhale, maybe just relaxing a little bit deeper into your right hip. As we're here just a little bit longer, you see if you can start making your inhales for the count of four and exhales for four as you come onto your forearms. Bring your left forearm down, reach your right arm up and twist, and then option to reach back for your foot. If it doesn't reach, don't worry, or use a strap. You can always grab it with a strap. You can stay with that or come up onto your hands and now reach back for the foot with your left hand, bringing your heel next to your left hip. Square up hips and shoulders toward the front of the mat. It's a pretty big stretch, so be gentle. Take another long breath here. And release it. Tuck your toes under. And lift your right leg up and stretch it out a moment. And then set it down. Now if you would really love to take a vinyasa, come forward in a plank as you inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. Exhale back to down dog. You can always skip it. We're going to do the same option on the other side. And inhale your left leg back and up. Exhale, bring it forward for Ekapada Rajo Kapatasana, also known as Pigeon Pose. Lengthen. Now, even if the first side was fine on your knee, if this side hurts your knee, then please roll onto your back. Take your left ankle just past your right knee and flex that ankle as you draw the left hip forward. Otherwise, you're in Pigeon Pose. Your right leg straight back behind you, all five toes onto the floor. If you're rolling onto your left hip, pad it up with a blanket or a block. You can stay up as you inhale or exhale, extend forward any amount. Let yourself settle in. Take your time settling in. There's no rush. Just allow yourself to release into that left hip. And then check to make sure that you aren't creating any tension around your neck or your shoulders or your jaw. Because sometimes if there's tension in the hip, it might you might be trying to release the hip, but then creating tension someplace else in the body. So try to find just surrender, a feeling of surrender. And as you're here, just start to take some longer breaths. Perhaps inhaling for four and exhaling for four. Just a couple more breaths. See if you can sink in and surrender a little bit more. And 
Inhale, make your way up. Take your right forearm parallel with the front of the mat. Lift your left arm up and maybe reach back for the right foot. Drawing it in, stretching out the front of the thigh. If it hurts, don't do it. You can always use a strap. And then come up onto the hands. You can hang out right here or hang out with the pose we just were in. Or again, reach back this time with your right hand for the right foot, bringing it forward. Square up hips and shoulders toward the front of your mat. And breathe. Now slowly release it, tucking the toes under. And now stretching your left leg up and back and stretching it out. And then set it down. Take an inhale. Exhale, chaturanga if you really want to. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Or you can always stay with down dog. Stretch back here. And then look forward. We're going to come through and sit for bridge pose. Now grab a block and have it handy next to you. So you won't have to go searching for it if you want it. Take your feet hips width apart. Outer edges of your feet parallel. First, lift hip bones toward lower ribs, then press into the heels, lift into bridge, and grab that block and hold it between your inner thighs, and roll the shoulders under, interlace fingers if you can, otherwise keep your palms down. Keep the chin away from your chest, and holding the block is a good way to keep the inner thighs spiraling down like we want them. Release, take the block off to the side, and soles of feet together, knees apart, place a hand on your heart center, hand on your belly, breathe here, and think of something that you're grateful for today. Setting up again, heels under knees, grab that block, hold it between your inner thighs, press into the heels, and Lift up, keep reaching your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees. Roll shoulders under, interlace with the other pinky on the top. Keep the chin away from your chest. Ribs drawing in. And shoulder blades moving toward the chest, widening the collarbones. Nice steady breathing. And then slowly release. Take the block, move it off to the side again. Soles of feet together, knees apart. A hand on your heart center, hand on the belly, and breathing here. Think of something that you're ready to release or let go of, something that's no longer serving you. You do not have to carry it around anymore. Let's leave it right here. We'll do one more bridge, or if you want to do full wheel or Vedanarasana, bring your hands up by your ears, pause at the crown of the head, line up wrists and elbows, and then press up. Keep spiraling thighs in toward each other as if you're holding the block. Bridge or Vedanarasana, your choice. And as you're ready, slowly release it. Again, soles of feet together, knees apart, hand on the heart center, hand on the belly. Now breathe here and bring in something that you would like to have in your life. So create an intention. This is a really good time to manifest what you want to bring in to your life. Bring it, make it a reality. And then bring your feet back to parallel. Grab your block, put it right at the base of your spine if you have a block. Otherwise, you can come back into a gentle bridge or you can just lie on your back with your knees bent. So if you do have the block, put it on the low or medium height, right at the base of your spine. And then we'll extend the legs up for a little inversion. So if you don't have a block, you can just lie on your back with your legs straight up. If you do, keep the block right at the base of the spine. Extend up through the legs. 
And use your belly muscles to hold your legs so that your knees are above the hips and your ankles are above the knees. Keep the legs a little bit firm as if you were holding a block between the inner thighs. Now take the legs nice and wide. Just let them open as much as they will. Flex your ankles. Might feel awkward. Think about, I'm on the beach, so that's really awkward. <laughs> but it feels so good, I didn't even care. Take the legs slowly back together. Bend the knees, feet back to the floor, lift off your block. And now hug your knees into your chest. Give your knees a little hug. Gently rocking side to side. And then roll off to your right side to press yourself up or you could roll back and forth and sit up that way. And extend your legs in front of you for Paschimottanasana first. But before that, bend your right knee and leave a little space between the foot and the left leg. Bring your right arm forward, wrap it around, inhale, lengthen, exhale, extend forward. So I'm holding on to my wrist with my right hand on left wrist. If that doesn't work for you, just wrap the right arm around and the left hand behind the back. Keep the left toes pointed up. This one is called Mari Chasana A. Inhale, head up, exhale, release. That same right leg, we're just gonna move it in towards center, right hand behind, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, take it across and twist for Mari Chasana C. As you inhale, sit nice and tall. Exhale, roll the right shoulder back and twist. Remember to keep your breath nice and steady. Inhale, center, bend your left knee, take a little space between the foot and the leg, wrap your left arm around, hold on to your right hand or wrist, and extend forward, or you can hold on to your shirt behind your back. Keep your right toes pulled back, or if you've got a strap or a towel, you can hold on to a towel behind your back as well. Try and keep lifting your left shoulder away from the floor as well as the right one. And come on up, take the foot a little closer to the leg. Inhale, left hand behind and right arm across to twist. As you inhale, sit nice and tall, lengthen. As you exhale, roll the left shoulder back, twist. Inhale, head to center. Now we'll take soles of feet together, knees apart. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, hinge from your hips and come forward. Keep your spine nice and long. That's a nice long spine leading with the chest. So we're not trying to get our head down to the feet, but we're trying to hinge from the hips and extend forward. And then come on up, knees together, extend the legs. And now... Paschimottanasana leg, reach the arms up, inhale, exhale, hinge forward from the hips and extend forward. So if it's hard to reach the feet, you can hold on to the legs or you can grab a strap and put the strap around your feet and hold on to the strap instead of the feet or the legs. But do try to keep your chest moving forward and keep lengthening through the spine. Inhale his head up. Exhale to release. And then I'm going to sit back up on my blanket for a little meditation, which I will invite you to join me for. It's short, or actually first some pranayama, sorry. Right hand, take the first two fingers down onto the palm. Close off your right nostril. Inhale through the left. Now close the left nostril. And then exhale, release through the right nostril, keeping the left nostril closed. Now inhale through the right side, close it off, hold the breath, and then exhale, release the left nostril and exhale just through that left side. And now inhale just through the left side, 
close it off, hold. And now exhale through the right nostril. This is called Nadi Shodhana breath. Inhale through the right side. Hold, pull the belly in, lift the pelvic floor muscles. And then exhale through the left nostril. Inhale left. And hold it. And then exhale right. Inhale right. Close it off, hold it in, lift belly, lift pelvic floor muscles. Exhale through the left side. Now inhale left. Close it off, hold the breath in. Exhale right. Inhale through the right side. Close it off, hold the breath in, lift belly, lift pelvic floor, exhale left. Inhale through the left. Close it off, hold. Exhale right. Inhale through the right side. Close it off and hold it in. And exhale through the left. Inhale through the left side. Close it off, hold the breath. Exhale through the right side. And then release. Breathe through both nostrils. And now face your palms down on your knees. The Nadi Shodhana breath helps to regulate the oxygen and even it out into the brain so that you feel calmer. Now with that nice, calm feeling, a little meditation. So sitting up nice and tall with the eyes closed. Start to take some longer breaths. It's in and out through the nose. And do your best to keep your attention on your breath. So when your mind begins to wander, return it to, I am breathing in as you inhale. I am breathing out as you exhale. And just for a couple of minutes, I'm going to be quiet as you meditate with your breath.
I'm just going to take a few more rounds of breath. Notice again if your mind has wandered. Just take it back to your inhale and your exhale. going to make our way into Shavasana. So just start to become aware of your body. You take a couple of longer breaths. And as you're ready, make your way into your final resting pose. I have my blanket I was sitting on. I'm going to roll it up and put it under my knees because it's comfortable for me. Let's do whatever you like to do to get comfortable. I'm going to take a little twist first if you like, dropping the knees over to the left, looking over the right shoulder. Or if you're ready to lie right down in Shavasana, then you just go right ahead. Otherwise, twisting. Inhale, center. Exhale your knees to the right, looking over your left shoulder. And then back to center. And again, make your Hug your knees in and then make your way into Shavasana. I'm going to roll my blanket up, put it under the knees. You're welcome to try that or put a blanket underneath your head or cover up with a blanket if you're chilly. And then let your feet flop open. Bring your arms along sides, palms facing up, and really just completely relax as you're settling in. Our quote is from Margot Fontaine. The one important thing I have learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking one's self seriously. The first is imperative and the second is disastrous. So know the difference and stop taking yourself so seriously. Relax, I'll be back in a minute or two.
Begin to take some longer breaths. Wiggling your fingers and your toes and stretching out through your arms and legs. And then bend your knees, roll yourself off to your right. Just thank yourself for taking your practice today, taking care of your body and your mind and your spirit. And slowly come on up. Sitting nice and tall, we'll bring the hands together. Let's bring our hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communication, sending out this wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to push the subscribe button and go to fightmasteryoga.com. Join our mailing list for more information.